All right, everyone, welcome back for another day here. It's auction day. It's an amazing day for auctions. There's 15 auctions going on in this area. There's actually an auction going on about five miles down the road, and I'm not going to that one, so I'm going all the way down to, uh, to Coopersburg, which is about, I'd say, 45 minutes, maybe closer to an hour, depending on traffic away, uh, just because it's the same auction area that I went to a while back and I really stocked up. Uh, it was a late Friday afternoon auction. This one is not a Friday, but same place. It's a firehouse. And uh, hopefully today will be just as well. I did not know if I'm going to the flea market tomorrow because I kind of ran out of inventory. But I'd love to go one more time because next week is the final week and I don't know how the weather is going to be then. So uh, yeah, if we can stock up, we'll be back out there. But another day let's do uh let's do auction things and make it a fun day and find some cool things that we can add to the collection maybe some things we can keep and let's do it let's get into it So first impression, auction's a lot smaller than the last time I came here. It's a lot better quality stuff, but it's a lot less inventory. Everything looks like it probably came from an antique store. Looks like an old printing block. Wonder if that's for maybe a newspaper or the something. The green aisle. It's backwards, of course. That's what it probably is for a newspaper or something. And then I put a different image right in the middle. Possibly. Some old stuff here but yeah everything has like price tags on it like this one says eight dollars looks like a tripod don't know what for for what though but that's what it was yeah but the last time I was here there was stuff all over here and then out here there were box lots galore on these tables, which probably took about two and a half hours to go through. There are box lots in that field, so. I don't know what the heck this thing is. That thing is interesting. Some books. I actually had a whole collection of these. And this one was only marked $15. I mean, it's in rough shape. And I took it to Lambertville. And so many people asked me about it, gave them a fair price. Everyone then looked it up on eBay. It was very, uh, a very good deal. And just no one ever, no one ever really wanted to buy it. I don't know why. It was in decent shape, too. Eventually, I did sell it, but. Crystal Spring Water. Packing up. Look at those big boys. Playbills on playbills. The old ones, too. And by old ones, I mean not really that old. Two lots, two bucks each.
merchandise we got out here. I like guess this. Uh, 80T, but it's like a printing block. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, it's good merchandise, glassware. Everything has price tags, so it's crazy. Hager, Hager 611. Sold at $40, buy a 110, buy a 110 on the ringer. I'll turn it off after this one. On the ringer there. Look at that little ringer. We're going to be needing that soon. And what do you want to bid on the ringer? What do you want to bid? $5 is going to the ringer. Five hundred seventy-nine. 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 Five hundred that's even made out of what looks like wood. That's interesting. Usually I see them out of wood. There's a couple wood ones in here. Seven fifty, not a bad deal. I think after tag, it's like ten bucks, but I figure I'll probably get ten dollars just for the tray. Big duels. You want a thirty five dollars? One thirty nine, one thirty nine. I tell you what, look at that mirror, a nice period mirror. Red roll it is, nice period mirror there, folks. And what do you want to bid on that mirror? And how would have been a fifty dollars ago on a mirror? How would have been a twenty-five dollars ago on a mirror? How would have been a ten dollars on a mirror? Ten to the ten, nobody likes the mirror. Five dollars on a mirror, five dollars on a mirror, five, I've not seven and a half. Five I've not seven and a bit no ten. Is that a bit of ten? Twelve and a half. All right. So we are back at the warehouse. I'll show you guys kind of what I grabbed today. I I guess I got a decent amount of stuff. I gotta see how much stuff I have in my my warehouse to see if I have enough for tomorrow because I mean like in a normal pickup truck this might be kind of close to one spot between all this yeah you, it's probably a little bit smaller than like a couple tables or it's probably about a couple tables I have to see how much stuff I have here uh the guy actually auctioned off just this one hockey puck I believe this one might be from the 70s only paid a dollar for it. it it was kind of funny so we were doing box lots outside Sometimes some of these auctioneers, you know, if it was like that, like there's so much random stuff that he was like, oh, you know what, take that out. Oh, we'll sell this hockey puck by itself because it's just like, what's it doing in there? But most likely or not, they like do clean outs and whatnot. And so if they're in the attic or a barn or whatever, they might use this as a container to carry stuff or they might be carrying it down the stairs and then they see something hanging up. So they'll pick it off and put it in there and then they just never take it out or put it in a different box. Uh, but anyway paid a dollar for that hockey puck i thought it was just kind of cool i did grab a bunch of stuff so i spent like 48 dollars i think the best thing i got is probably that that box of uh uh printer blocks that's a cool old one that's a copper and aluminum one that's gotta be an ancient it's a relic that was the word of the day relic i did pick up some this costume jewelry it's more like just beads i don't know i don't know why i bought this interesting stuff I like to have a variety of stuff when I sell. Some older radios. What the heck is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. This was outside. Jeez, I am breaking everything. This was outside. Uh, it didn't sell, so he put it with a lot of, like, two other things. What? You, oh, he put this with it, which is a nice old copper. Um, it's a very, very shame. This is an early... Um, Sort of like, I guess, how do I know what kind of bin you'd use this for? Maybe for, um, you can use it for anything on the farm. Almost looks like it had these, probably feet on it. Little knobs that went in all four corners. I guess with a circle, is it really a corner? I don't know. All four quadrants. South, east, west, north. Put it that way. 
Um, but yeah, it's probably used on the farm, carry stuff, container, nice little thing like that. I think you put that with this block plane. I paid a dollar for this whole kit and kombudo box. It was almost like with all this kind of stuff, if you ever got down to a dollar for a box or two dollars a box, I pretty much bought it. Because all this older stuff, antique, primitive stuff is so hot around here in this area that someone's going to be like, oh, that looks cool. That went on top of a dresser, probably on top of a dresser mirror or whatever. Dresser mirror, maybe. Maybe put the mirror inside them. I don't know. But they'd give me like $3 for that. Uh, and same with a lot of this other stuff. There's an old mailbox down there. Where the heck this thing is. I don't know. Some oddies, but I did want to show you that one um, printer block tray. There's a lot of cool pieces in there. So yeah, a lot of neat stuff in this this box. This old printer block pieces. I don't know what these small ones are. Oh yeah, they're small, very very small letters. You're probably not. Like, That's an H. Yeah, you can see that. That's what all these little metal ones are. I wonder what letter this is. Why? Why did I only spend $7.50 on this? There's a lot in there. Seem like, well, I'm gonna take this out. This is not, that's gonna go online. Um, Cause look at that, you see how many are in there? There's a bunch. That's something worth the flea market. I'll put out there for $10. So maybe like, oh, would you take five? No, and I'll probably sell the tray for like five bucks or so, maybe ten dollars around here. That's nice. Oh, that thing is heavy. That's weighted. Probably weighs like four pounds. I mean, there's some cool things: older radios, these porcelain lampshades, smaller one. There's some pretty neat things in here. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know what I have still left in storage in my warehouse, so I'll have to go ahead and see what I have in storage, and if I have enough stuff for the flea market tomorrow, I'll add some more things, but if not, uh, I guess we'll do the flea market next week. I didn't buy enough for this week, at least. There just really wasn't that many box lots at this uh, this auction. Uh, the stuff inside was going pretty expensive. I mean, it was all going to be really nice stuff. I think it was a lot of things from that one auction I went to that it absolutely poured. I mean, it poured like it was a hurricane pouring for nothing for like three or four hours straight. Uh, that was that was brutal. Um, I think there's a lot of stuff from that auction that made it here because it was just raining and they decided let's not have it right now because it's pouring outside. So uh, there wasn't a lot of households or box lots in that in that case, but uh, lots of the nice stuff, lots of primitives and higher end primitives that went for 70, 80, 100, 150 dollars and so forth. So uh, this is what I grabbed. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hope you like, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, this wonderful day of treasure hunting. If you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed primitives and auctions and buying treasure, smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Catch you guys next time, next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace. <laughs>